Hello again and welcome once more to my study. Haven't been here for a while, have you? Here we are in October. Today is October the 11th. Monday starts the week. And the sun's shining well today. A nice quiet day. Very pleasant day. Being over the roses this morning. Taking the deadheads off to encourage more, more flowers to come. We get tea, always, always some tea there, which I love. Here we are with the book, which is with no great surprise. Ghost Hunters, Hunters Guides to England on the Trail of the Paranormal, Rupert Matthews. It's packed full of uh, stories from different, different locations, pictures. I've settled on one today, which is close to where I live, really, I'm in Worcestershire. And this is the Fleece Inn at Bretforton, which is haunted by a former landlady who simply cannot bear to leave. And it's quite a good shot, I've actually been there. It's what we used to term, I had a holiday by there once, and we used to go in there quite often like, we called it the cider house and of course being being um, in Eversham which is the garden of England the little all fruit and veg growing there plums and everything and apples and uh, the cider in particular was rather good uh, extremely powerful if I remember right very effective in uh, lifting the spirits for some anyway well talking of spirits let's have a look at this the flea scene at Brett Fortin the beautiful Malvern Hills and they are indeed that dominate Western Worcestershire rising to impressive heights above the villages and towns that, that share the Malvern name the natural springs that are found here were famous for their medicinal properties as early as 1700 and today their, their water can be found in bottles in most supermarkets across, across England. I believe the Queen drinks, drinks Malvern water. Well, there's good taste for you. East of the, of the River Severn and Avon the county descends to the Vale of Eversham, one of the um, uh, broadest and most attractive valleys in uh, Western England. And again, the, the gateway to the Cotswolds, which is just over a couple of hills from Eversham, had a fantastic holiday there once. This is a fruit gro growing area, as fertile as Kent, and uh, equally as haunted, I believe and producing fruits of equally high quality. Unlike Kent, however, Worcestershire does not um, uh, produce mainly for eating, but mostly for turning into cider. There, there you go. <laughs> uh, varieties such as, as Cap of Liberty or, or Slack M McGirdle, wow, them are old varieties, are crisp and acidic perfect for fermentation, while the, uh, uh, the much more famous Worcester, Worcester Pemain is one of the few eating apples grown here. One pub that does a nice line in local cider, there you go, is the Flea Sin at Bedford. It also has paranormal activity of more than one kind. Nigel Smith, the landlord in 2005, knew all about the ghostly presence of former landlady Lola Taplin. There is definitely uh, somebody around, reported Nigel, and a lot of the uh, manifestations take place around the settle in the pewter room. The 
computer room. That sounds atmospheric, doesn't it? You can imagine all, all the mugs and tankards of pewter there. Wonderful. And the beams in this lovely, lovely um, beamed inn. Beautiful. The pub began life as a farm in the 14th century, opening as an inn in 1848. From 1400 to, uh, uh, to 1978, it was owned by the Taplin family, and Lola was the last and most formidable of her line. She was very proud of her old home, preserving uh, the old cockfighting room and as much of the fabric as she could. On her death, it passed to the National Trust, though it is still run as a pub. We've still got Lola's shoes, says Nigel, and we found they are best left alone, for if anyone moves them or interferes, we get a bit of bother. Saucers have flown off tables, and I saw a glass jump off a shelf in the bar, fly across the room and land on a table quite gently. Wow, can you imagine that the glass flying across the room and then suddenly settling gently you know just flying across woof, and then suddenly gently like that oh, rather disconcerting mm, quite gently, you know. it did not break despite traveling at least 12 feet through thin air wow very strange oh and lola was always very insistent about certain chairs and where they should go. I moved them when I started here, as I thought they would they would work better that way, but every morning they were back how Lola wanted them. What about that? I don't move them anymore. Finally, I must mention uh, witches' marks by the chimney. There were some uh, witches here in the 1920s. Turn the page. Apparently. Mm. And they made those marks for whatever reasons they had. Lola left them there, so I reckon that is probably the best thing to do. They are still there. The Fleece Inn is not the only haunted place in Bretforton. The church plays host uh, to a fan phantom funeral. Wow. It appears complete with uh, black hearse drawn by a pair of black horses with black feather plumes in their heads. The hearse advances slowly up the road from from western subage, arrives in front of the lich gate and vanishes. Whose funeral this might be, nobody seems to know, nor is it clear whether or not it is linked to the gruesome ghost that frequents the nearby fields. Ooh. And again, the identity of this ghost is unknown. This is odd, as she takes the form of a headless woman dressed in fine clothes. It might be thought that such a stark apparition would have uh, a story behind it, but apparently not. She simply manifests herself, frightens those who see her, and then vanishes into thin air. Well, there you go. Wow. The flea sin at Brett Fortin and surrounding area. Worcestershire, very haunted, very haunted. Let's have a last look at the flea sin. There you go, the flea sin. I've been in there. Wonderful old pubs. Wonderful, fabulous atmosphere. And if you go in there when the log fires are on the colder days or evenings, you can hear the cracking of the wood. Um, such ambience is fantastic. You don't want to leave. <laughs> oh, marvellous. And marvellous it is indeed to see you. I hope you return. Please come back again and visit. I'll, uh, I'll have a sort out of a few books that I haven't read from yet. All the best until then, until we meet again. Bye-bye.